start recording this because we're going to say some funny stuff. Okay, well, uh, are you ready, man? I am. Whatever. Coming through. You're not ready. I got to change those photos. Old. Like me. <laughs> you, ever, you ever notice that, like, when you get older, you, you like, go from, like, being parented to parenting not only your kids, but your parents? <laughs> yeah, you can- Hi, uh, welcome yeah. to the show. I'm Curtis Reese. We have Patricio Misitrano. Did I say it? You said it better than me. God damn it, man. <laughs> we got the man oh. that, that runs the paddle house up there. Where are you at again? Connecticut, Pennsylvania? Where are you at? Norwalk, Connecticut. There we go. Up there in Connecticut. He is. He Tell us who you are. Tell, remind us who you are again. It's been a while, my man. Tell yeah, us, we, talk to us. last time we spoke, we were... Um, about to open a yeah. club now it's been like about eight months i yeah. think yeah. well we've been open for almost eight months uh-huh. so we we spoke about eight months ago maybe even longer than that and so i tell us about the paddle house tell us what's going the, on the, the sports <laughs> house we have paddle yeah. and and we have pickleball we have golf simulators it's a thirty-five thousand square foot in norwalk connecticut with indoor courts we have five indoor paddle courts oh. for and indoor pickleball courts, um, plenty of space, like, you know, over 20 foot ceilings. I think the pickleball courts are close to 25. Oh, wow. 24, 25, and uh, amazing lights that, you know, we use the same company that installed the lights in the Yankee Stadium. Oh, <laughs> so wow. Lights are pretty, what company is that? Pretty cool. It's a company out of, um, out of um, England. Mm-hmm. And that they they do a lot of installations in Europe and then also some some in the U.S. Mm-hmm. And then we have two golf simulators, two Trackman golf simulators. Oh. We are open to the public and we also have a membership, so we are hybrid. Oh, you wow. can play as a member and then you can play also as a non-member. So when you're a member, tell us the advantage of that you get guaranteed, you get guaranteed courts, you get good rates. What's the advantage of being a member versus so a guest? I'll, I'll give you an example. So tonight the members come to play for free. For example, we had a, an, a member event only. Oh, wow. So that's, we do a lot of free events for members that's where cool. you know, your membership and allows you to come. And tonight actually they can bring a guest. Ah. So we have a ton of people that are gonna come. Some have been to the club and some are, are gonna be new. Mm-hmm. And, but you get priority reservations on everything from tournaments to leagues, to clinics, to courts. You get a different rate wow. and for for everything, for all the lessons, for the clinics, and, and you get a lot of free events that we do for members. How many how many pros do you have there? Or do do your pros like full time two mm-hmm. and then we have well actually three pretty much and someone does a lot of pickleball um, lessons. We have Tina who she's amazing, she does a lot of pickleball lessons. She also brings her own um, um, students over oh, wow. and she runs her own events awesome. which is kind of um, fun yeah. for us to see you know oh, yeah. more people coming to the club and then we have two three part-time pros that do mostly paddle but then some pickleball too so tell us about uh tell us about um is anybody your your paddle program uh are, are, do you have anybody on staff like this that's playing professionally like like i know nico agritelli out of here he's you know nico he yep. comes here on the show. He's at the, I think he's at the the finals over there, uh, or some pick paddle. Do you have any pros that are player pros like that on staff? So we have a couple. Well, one one of our pros, Book and Velikovic. Mm-hmm. I think I pronounced his name correctly. I would have screwed um, it up. You sounded great. He Keep goes <laughs> he goes by Book. Everyone knows Book, and book. he he just won a tournament two weeks ago at our club. We were hosting a USPA <laughs> tournament, uh-huh. and he won it, and and then. Funny enough, that was on a Sunday. On, I think it was Thursday or Friday of that same week, yeah. he was playing the APP New York Open and, and made it to the semifinals. Where do you get these people? <laughs> so he, you were a good player good too. In, Come in on both, now. <laughs> he's pretty good in both sports. That's awesome. And he doesn't play that many tournaments, but obviously he played one tournament uh, and got to the semifinals. <laughs> Last year, he actually, and he went through the qualis, by the way. I know, yeah. Because he doesn't have enough points. Uh, the year before, he made it to the finals. And then on Sunday, he won the, the USPA 250 tournament that we had. 
at our club. So yeah, there you go. We have someone. <laughs> who, <laughs> I want to go up there and take lessons. Hey, if you're who's, who's if, pretty good in both sports. Well, you're a good director, and uh, that's what a lot of facilities need. Some of the articles you tapped on are. Uh, we don't need to go into depth, but one of the, some of the articles that, that that Pat here, my man, at Sports House has articles has discussed tough topics like, like pay, like benefits, like stuff that's taboo in our industry. And I know yeah. for a fact, and 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 it's just just part of the respect I have for no nonsense. And you're like you and I are one and the same, or which unfortunately it's night or day, majority of the time. It's um, sometimes we got dust, sometimes we got done. We get that. But yeah. you're the type of person that establishes what needs to be done, how, and we'll go from there. And that's why I think it's awesome, you know, that that you're doing. You've got these guys on staff, players on staff like that. You you attract them. I just yeah, gave you a compliment. You. Can you believe that shit? Thank you. You did. You did. And I feel so much better. About I know. Man, he's like, I'm awesome. No, he's like, God, it's pretty <laughs> I'm, like, I'm gonna listen water. to this. Pod- I'm gonna listen to this to this podcast when I don't feel well. <laughs> Shut like, up. <laughs> I remember what Kirby said. <laughs> well, it's all true. I mean, it's tough being a, you know, a good director and a good husband and a good father. And uh, I had a, I had a, <clears throat> a, a, a um, head pro on here from the Fort Worth facility a little bit ago, and we were talking about. You know, being a good parent, and you just it sucks because you you're always doing something for me. You have to, right? Yeah. Well, thank you for being flexible, oh. and, oh. and and we had to change the time of this podcast because I had to take well, not take pick up my daughter from the school bus. I tried to I cancel, said, he wouldn't cancel. <laughs> I told him I told three schedules like, no, we're doing this. He's got three yeah. amazing daughters and an amazing wife. Patricio here from uh, the Sports House. So let's talk about your pickleball. So uh, you have the paddle right there. So your pickleball. You've got open play coming up. Do you have any host any tournaments in AP uh, APP or, or? So we don't we don't host those type yeah. of tournaments. Mm-hmm. And what we do is, if you go to pickleball brackets, we actually set up an, uh-huh. an a monthly tournament. Awesome. And at the sports house, that sometimes you know they're all based on on ratings, mm-hmm. but sometimes we do three five and below. Sometimes we do up to four zero oh, wow. or up to four five. And we, we set up for the entire year once a month. And we only have four courts. And right. we don't, you know, we do it on weekends. And weekends is pretty busy. Mm-hmm. So we don't want to do a tournament every weekend. Exactly. And then the members say, hey, what exactly. is going on here? You know, I don't have any courts. So exactly. we feel like once once a month is the right about uh, amount of, of, you know, tournaments mm-hmm. for us. Then we also have, and we have three teams in a local pickable league. And we oh, do okay. open plays, yeah. and we we do a lot of like fun things, but we don't want to overload our schedule with and uh, tournaments because part of the reason why someone would join is so they can True. pretty much whenever they want, you know, have a, an open court. And we do a ton of um, private events too that they awesome. take, you know, take the courts. Well, you know, the old saying is that we work while they play. That's what that, yeah. that's what I was raised as. Uh, Billy Freer, my man, rest in peace. Um, he was a director of uh, racket sports for over 30 years at Brookhaven, uh, Brookhaven here in Dallas. I spent 10 years with him. But uh, that's that's the motto you have, and that's the motto that that, that uh, it needs to be. Uh, so, yeah. all right. Well, um, lastly, I know you got to get out of here, but let's go to um, the way of paddle. <laughs> Let me find your run sheet, man. I got it somewhere. How did yeah. I put it? I, uh, the way of paddle. Huh. All right. Well, listen, the way of paddle starts like this. Uh What's your? We'll, we'll ask you what your favorite shot is in paddle. Do you play much paddle? I say you do. You play much I I do. I, shot. I can tell you pickleball. I can take you. Pa- I can tell you paddle. <laughs> and so in, in paddle there is a shot, uh, and part of the reason is because I'm not that strong that I can hit the ball out of the court as other players can. Yep. So I like to hit another shot that is called viborita, the little snake. Yes, the viborita. Yeah. Viborita. <laughs> yeah. So you get a little bit of spin, you play the ball from a low point of contact, you're attacking that ball and you make the ball go close to the, you know, like very sharp yeah. and close to the, the glass and yeah. then hit the glass and then it stays really low. It's very hard to play defense off the ground or play defense off the glass. What about in pickleball? What's your favorite shot? In pickleball, I, I love to do the, the Ernie. Ernie. <laughs> I, lo- I love the Ernie. It's not easy. No, it's not. But the Ernie, what I like about the Ernie is that you're anticipating and the other player doesn't see it coming. Yeah. And they think, oh, I hit a pretty good dink. And then all of a sudden, <laughs> boom, they eat it. That's what uh, I like. I can see that. 
Yeah. Hey, you were at uh, where were you? Where you played college again? Remind me. I, I know I probably played. I them. played at Weber International University, it's a school in in Central Florida. I know. And at, at the time, you know, it's an NAIA school. We were top five. Uh-huh. It was pretty good tennis. Oh, yeah. Unfortunately, they don't have a tennis program anymore. I know because you yeah, left. You right left. Late. <laughs> That's yeah. awesome. All right. Well, um, what is your uh, who's your favorite paddle player right now? And I like Ale Galan. You know, it's, you know, top player in the world. You could argue that he's the best one. Uh-huh. And, and I like the team that he is. He now he has a new partner and he parted ways with LeBron and now he's playing with Chingoto. Uh-huh. It's this like, you know, short, tiny little Argentinian guy uh-huh. who plays on the right and then lets Ale Galan do most wow. of the, the offensive. And I, I like both of them really, but I like Ale Galan. He's so talented. That's awesome. So good. Favorite pickleball player? Colin, Colin Jones, my oh, buddy Colin. Colin. Tell him I need yeah. to get him on the show. All right. You need to text him and say you need to go on the show with Curtis because he's been they've, – they've been – they live right by Royal Oaks. Yeah. He's always there. I know. He's friends with Jared. I know. Chirico. I know Jared was so. on. I'm going to join that <laughs> so, damn thing. I promise I'm going to join that director's club. Like, you I'm going to I'm gonna, I'm gonna text Colin. I'm going to tell him he needs to do be it. on your show. Right now, do it right now. Text him. We're calling him out. Oh, my God. I'm nervous. No, I'm going to take Don't do him. that. I'm nervous. <laughs> Got to take a picture and say, this guy's here. crazy. And I'll be like this. Come on. Oh, no. I'm testing him now. He's lying. I'm, I'm nervous. <laughs> this is crazy. Anyway, we're hitting here with my man, Pat. Patricio. At the... at the. Uh, oh, you can't see it on yeah, the thing. Oh, it, what? I see. just texted him. I see it. Okay. All right. <laughs> now I'm nervous. Anyway. <laughs> that's classic. Well, that's what you do here, man. You just, I make this so much fun to really just come on because people come on like, I don't, I'm about to fill this out. No, you don't. Yeah. You know, I have to say, so the other day, my, 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 my mom was telling me, oh, yeah, I watch this. She doesn't speak English, but she still watches all the, the, the podcasts when I do them. Uh-huh. And, she, and she's like, oh, you're too serious. You know, you need to like loosen up. And yeah. whenever I come on your show, this is like, you know, we're having a conversation. We're having a blast. <laughs> well, thank you. It's. It's part of being told no so many times and let down by people that you may know and I know, but I'm sure Colin Jones knows, but I will never name drop. I will never do that. Yeah. But uh, anyway. Well, you asked me about my favorite player. <laughs> if he's my favorite player. You know, exactly. He, he, what I like about Colin is yeah. that, you know, especially when you play doubles, you need to know your role. Mm-hmm. And when he plays on the right with Ben, mm-hmm. he knows his role and he plays it perfectly. Mm-hmm. When he plays mix, he plays on the left. And he changes the way he plays. So really understanding your strengths and weaknesses so and what cool. role you have on your team is so important. And that, that was the next thing I was going to ask you. What, what, what's your favorite uh, tip right now? And you just said it. I mean, that one. Uh, it's just, what's your, what's your favorite? Let me ask you about the paddle, the paddle drill there. What's, yeah. a good, what's a good fun paddle drill? Because I want to start playing paddle. Heads off me this contract, and I'm going to use it to get to use their paddles. I just signed this crap today. And so... What's a good exercise for someone like me that will walk on a paddle court? I've never even been on one. I more used to well, work on So you, you have racket skills. So one thing that is that I, I think is, is not easy, but someone with good skills could do it. And for you to learn about the right pace, because paddle is a lot about pace. Mm-hmm. When you play on the front, you're most of the time going to be aggressive and you're in control of the point. When you're in the back, you want to play slow. Ah. So a, good, a good, yes, and you, you either have you know, slow grand strokes, mm-hmm. slow loves, or attacking shots when the ball is above your, your waist. Those you can attack. You're not going to have too many. So a good drill, it goes like this. So you play in the mm-hmm. back, and I play in the back. Okay. We both rally. Mm-hmm. So we have to try to give each other shots that are going to bounce and then hit the glass. Wow. And then you're going to hit another shot off the glass that gets to my side, bounces, and then hits the glass again. I've, and I play it again, oh and we keep God. going. That's awesome. Um, and you learn how to play slow because you can't do that really fast because if you do too fast, it's very hard to control. So both players are, you know, working as a team and learning how to hit at the right pace. Thank you. That's, this is, that's the bread and butter of why we, I have amazing guests like this on. I'm, I'm serious. <laughs> and he's going to bill me later. But I'm just saying that what's awesome <laughs> is that that, that's what I love the most about this. And so, and that can equate to pickleball, right? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I, I had a guy named Bill Wong. He's an author. Bill Wong, his daughter is, um, oh, boy, I can't think. 
Anyway, uh, I get nervous about some of these people. But he, uh, he was he was at the uh, MLP here at uh, the Preston House, Preston Playhouse, which is similar to you all. I think they have, I think three indoor paddle courts and four whatever. Point is, um, talked about the importance of being able to slow the game down and resetting, which I've always taught. You know, in tennis, I, I didn't have much money. So I was taught, you, you practice your serve. That's all we can really do right now. I'm like, okay, so I'll go serve for an hour, right? Yeah. And I learned to serve in volley, and I played doubles to learn to serve in volley, right? Yep, yep. But when I got when I started doing pickleball, I was like, man, there's no way you go in like that. I, no, I think there's got to be another way. I started to reset in 2019. Did I reinvent the wheel? No. But I saw it a different angle like you do with paddle. That's why the way you explained to me paddle right there is huge. So uh, Look, uh, and for some players that actually come from the pickleball court to play paddle wow. or, or vice versa, uh -huh. there is one shot that has a different name, but it's basically the same shot. Uh -huh. So the third, the third shot drop, uh -huh. when you're dropping yep. the ball on the third shot, is very similar to a, a, sh a shot called Chiquita, Chiquita the little yeah. one. So you're you're in the back of the court, you're hitting a drop basically, mm -hmm. and then you're running up right behind the ball, mm -hmm. dropping the ball below the height of the net. Yeah. So it's the same shot. It has two different names, uh -huh. and but the idea is the same. You know, yeah. you're keeping the ball low, you're forcing someone to volley up, and then you're you're following the ball right behind it. That's so awesome. Look, man, I'm gonna go now because that's too much information, and you're gonna bill me too much, and I can't afford to pay you. What else you gotta say <laughs> before we get out of here? That's okay. That's yeah, that's it. Was fun. How, how do people reach you? And you know, a lot. And I I'm very active on LinkedIn, yes. so I like you know also to learn about when someone reaches out to me. I want to know who they are and what they've done. So on LinkedIn, they can find me. My first name, my last name. Um, I believe I'm the only one with that last <laughs> name, and definitely one of the very few in <laughs> Connecticut with my first name. He when, said when I moved to when I moved to to Connecticut or the town where I live, mm -hmm. the Hispanic um, population percentage, <laughs> the ratio went sky, went sky high. <laughs> yeah. Yes. That's the man, the myth, the legend of Sports House, which I screwed his name up again. Patricio, Luis What else yeah. you got to say before I cut this off, bro? Is Collins calling you? Is he texted you yet? Um. Don't answer that. No, no, yeah. Oh! No. Because I was, look, look, can you see it? Uh, wait. Can you I see can that? See it. I can see it. I can see it. I can see it. Okay, I'm going to so stop. I was text, texting him about an event that I'm organizing in September, and he said, oh, 